Nobody can put a limit to what we can imagine. And unfortunately, um, a lot of economists, a lot of the economic way of thinking is, they think about resources as things that are limited. And so, um, while the arts are incredibly valuable because they allow us to imagine the future and they um, allow us to imagine what might be, we tend to, to um, um, not value it properly because it's not physically, we can't touch it, as I said, and it's in the individual. If you create the kind of community where the individual can imagine and the individual is allowed to imagine or be inspired to imagine a future, you create a very vibrant society and you create an incredibly vibrant economy. The scientist and the technologist and the engineer oftentimes have what is called practice or a way of operating. The artist, in many ways, he or she may be an individual. Um, their own standards are oftentimes, their own way of, of um, um, articulating their feelings is what makes them so valuable in a, in a modern economy. They are the people who come up with ideas that are completely different than other ideas. So what you're looking for constantly are people thinking differently and artists think differently. The way countries compete nowadays is they compete by having resources that are distinctive, different, rare, um, valuable, very difficult for others to imitate. That's how countries do well. Um, so you must have something that is a bit different than others. Um, it, it, it makes no sense, therefore, for a country like Ireland, whose real strength is in the arts, is in the imagination, is in storytelling, is in the personal, um, is in the emotional, if you will, uh, not to compete on that base. It, it, that is actually our, our real strength. And, and so rather than our current policy, which tends to see science and technology as the driving force for the, of the economy and the arts as marginal or peripheral um, and only being supported and funded when there are resources, um, monetary resources um, available, it's actually, we've got the balance wrong. What we should do is actually start with what our strength is, as I said, it is in actually the artistic, it is in the the emotional and the human. And um, we still need the technology. We're in the world where the, the technology, the science, is very important. But in the Irish case, our emphasis should really be on the arts first and the science and technology second.